Today, they were testing cows at this Wiltshire farm. Outbreaks in the last two years mean extra checks and anxious waits. It's a stressful time because it takes out two days of the week of our life, of our working week. Um, we have to get extra staff in to assist us with this job. So yes, it is. It's like sitting in an exam and waiting for the results. But farmers are being urged to do more. Today saw a new scheme launched for areas like the West Country, which have high rates. We cover um, farms all throughout Wiltshire and Gloucestershire and a uh, Avon as was, uh, and TB is a huge problem across the entire practice and has been for some time. Better biosecurity is vital, such as protecting animal feed. One of the things we've done, we keep these doors shut all the time in the day and at night when we're not feeding the animals, and that stops any wildlife getting into the feed stores. His South Gloucestershire farm is backing the new initiative. Today he welcomed a government minister for the launch. Farms which successfully tackle the disease will get accredited. Today it was all about cattle to cattle transmission, which is responsible for the majority of TB cases. More controversial was the role of badgers and the government's cull, which this year took place in 10 areas across the southwest. There were fewer protests this year. In West Gloucestershire and West Somerset have culled for four years running. That could mean it's at an end after a troubled start. Well, there was a very large population in first year, uh, and obviously they missed that target. And then in years two, three, and four, it became much easier to hit the targets that they got as the population uh, came down. So we'll be announcing what we do uh, in those, uh, those other sites uh, going forward. But yes, predominantly this is a four-year cull to get the population down, and then we'd expect to see the disease benefits in the next few years in those areas. But culling can only slightly dent the disease. Today's initiative to reduce the spread between cattle could be much more important. Paul Bartrup, BBC Points West, South Gloucestershire.